Hello and welcome to yet another cool blender lightning trail tutorial. Now I've been meaning to for the past like year even to create an another version of my lightning trail tutorial but this time with actual audio like instructions rather than just showing how I made it I can like actually talk through the process of how I made it so we're gonna just start with the default cube and we're gonna tab into edit mode we're gonna press M for merge and we're gonna select at center to merge them into just one um, just one vertex here now we're going to hit E for extrude, Z or Z for the vertical um, axis and I'm going to just put like 10. And then from here I'm going to click Control R and then I'm going to hit 7 so that it uh, cuts the uh, line 7 times and I'm going to just hit enter. Now while still in edit mode I'm going to select this bottom vertex, I'm going to come down here into the data properties, I'm going to click the plus here to create a vertex group and I'm going to assign it to this bottom vertex. Now once this is done I'm going to add on empty for later and I'll get into that later on. I'm going to go into the modifiers, I'm going to add a, I think, is it, no it's not a displace, is it, a displacement, yeah I'm going to add a displacement modifier, I'm going to click new for here, I'm going to come along to this bit here, click on that, change it from image or movie to clouds and then I'm going to change the size down here to like 1. Now I'm going to go back into the modifiers I'm going to change the direction to X so we get this like shape here and I'm going to change the strength to like 1.2 then I'm going to come back up here go into generate come down to subdivision surface and I'm going to do like four levels and I'm going to move this up above here so the line should now look something like this I'm going to come back down to the displacement I'm going to hit shift D twice to duplicate it and then in the direction I'm going to change this to Y and then this one to Z now in the Z one I don't want the strength to be too strong so I'm going to turn it down to like 1.1 or maybe even like 1.05 and now now we're going to get into why we need this empty so we're going to in coordinates change it from local to object we're going to turn we're going to select empty and we're going to do this for each of them Now when we move the empty it will change the displacement on the object here. But that's not all we're going to do because we, we do want like a focus for the lightning point. So we're going to in uh, vertex group select the group that we created in here earlier for each of these. Now, yeah, it might look strange, so we might have to um, invert it here for all of them. So that way, there we go. So now the lightning should just focus on the one particular spot down here. Rather than the bottom also changing as well, like the top here. Like, yeah. 
So now once we're done with that, we're going to select the object again, we're going to go into modifier and we're going to add a skin modifier in the generate section, which should give you this. Now we're going to go back into edit mode, I'm going to hit shift Z for the wireframe mode and I'm going to select the bottom vertex, I'm going to go up to proportional editing and turn that on. Now rather than scaling it with S, we're going to scale with Control A. Now we're going to use the scroll wheel to change the like radius of the proportional editing, and I'm going to just I'm going to scale it in by like 0 0.1. And I'm going to select the top one and do the same. Control A, and I'm going to go by like maybe 0 0.2 or 0 0.15 to give the top like a thicker, so it's like a slightly thicker, slightly thicker up the top than it is in the bottom, like it's more focused at the bottom. Now that should just, that should be that. <coughs> now we've created this lightning. And now I'm going to um, give it a material. So I'm going to come into here, I'm going to go down to emission. And I'm going to change it to like an orange because I do want this like folk, uh, it's like the um, lightning trail from like the Flash TV show oh, and whatnot, or even from like the comic books. Now in Eevee we're going to we're going to go into viewport shading. We're going to turn on Bloom to give it that nice like orange glow. Now that's basically just how you create that. But I'm not going to stop there because I do want to show something else. Now I'm going to import a Lego minifigure and I'm going to like show how I'd like attach the lightning to the like a character. So I'm going to uh, bring in the flash. Hopefully, it will load up. Now, hopefully, because I did do a tutorial before on um like posing the character. I'm gonna. I hope this works. Oh, it's frozen. Okay, right. I'm gonna scale it to like. Point two. I'm gonna bring them down. Then hopefully, if I add this, ah, uh, I see. Okay. Ah, uh, okay. It's not gonna work like that. Okay. So um. Blender crashed on me while I was trying to scale him back up, so I would not recommend that. I'm going to select his head, his body, the legs, and the like, torso, and hands. And I'm going to apply a rig to the character. I'm going to parent the head to the object. I'm just go going through this quickly because of already done a video on how to like do the rig. I'm gonna just like move his legs. Gonna uh, like bend him slightly so that it looks like he's running gonna do that arm forward, this arm back, like that. Hell, I'm even gonna turn his head uh, around because I know he's... Oh yeah, I forgot about that bit. Okay. I can turn this bit back around. Ah, done. Okay. There. Give him an angry face. I'm gonna save it. 
Right, okay. So ho hopefully I can scale this without much issue. Nope, no can do. Okay. Wait, why is this not work? Did I not? Why is there two empties? Okay. Yeah, okay, so you can, you, okay, yeah, that's good. So let's um, scale this up by like four. There we go. And we're going to just shift it along a bit. Now, this is going to be the focus of the lightning. So the bit we want to attach to the f character is this the top part so I'm gonna just hide that I'm going to rotate this this way so 90 so now when you move this the lightning moves with it now I'm just going to I'm just gonna move this because we do want different shaped lightning Oops. Now if you move the whole thing and duplicate the whole thing, it's it's gonna be the same lightning coming off the whole time. So we're just gonna move the one bit. And just gonna position it like on the character. And we're gonna just duplicate it and move it. So now like, they've got like different shapes. I'm just gonna like move this like down a bit. I'm gonna just like move this over, move this link like, down a bit, move this like up and like over a bit. And then maybe move another one down and over. Move this one. And just link like, Keep adding link more until you're like, happy with it. I'm gonna just add like a couple more. Maybe like one for each like arm. Something like that. <coughs> so yeah, we can have something like this, like, and obviously like, you can like, maybe scale it along, or make it even longer, but this is all I'm going to have for now. So now like, when you move this, like, because the lightning's generating from the character, you, you, you want it moving away. You don't want it moving towards. But that's if you're animating it. I'm just gonna have like uh, a still image basically, so I don't need to like move it. But if you do want to like animate like the character running, you just need to like uh, parent the lightning to the object that it's coming off, so that when you do um. And if the, ca the character, the lightning will go with it, which I think is pretty cool. So yeah, that's basically the tutorial that I'd plan. Like, I could do another one for like animating with the lightning, but I don't know if that's really necessary or not, because it is literally just parenting the lightning to the character and then keyframing like the character moving. Now I guess one thing about it is like maybe if, yeah if you're rotating the arm that's yeah it's not gonna be good. So I guess um yeah. Hmm. 
Hmm, I don't know how I'd go about doing that, but... I guess you could, um, keyframe... Um, the lightning itself to rotate when the arm rotates, but yeah. I could figure that out for another video, maybe. But yeah, um, if you've made it this far, um... Maybe cons consider leaving a like if you enjoyed it, and and a subscribe. That would really help out a lot. But um, I hope you have a good rest of your day. Goodbye.